During the English Civil War, musketeers would wear one of these. It was called the Twelve Apostles. <coughs> Hello and welcome to History Workshops. I'm Mark Vaughan. Now it's so easy to do. You hear a name being given to something or a phrase being said and you take it for gospel. I've been guilty of this too. Even the term English Civil War I used at the start of this video isn't accurate. It was spread over England, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, overseas and on the sea. However, during the wars, a musketeer would wear one of these. It was called a bandolier. The bandolier was a set of wooden bottles on a leather strap across your shoulder. Each bottle held enough black powder for one shot. A bandolier would have had 12 bottles, but it was not universal. So the bandolier, especially from the English Civil War, has been termed the Twelve Apostles. The name has survived over the centuries. For the name Twelve Apostles is believed to have been a Victorian invention. And to make matters worse, there is no evidence to suggest this name was actually given during the English Civil Wars. Yet the name lives on. The term is still used today when a bandolier is advertised on a website or on social media. It is mentioned in blogs and vlogs, the occasional TV documentary, and even on certain websites that specialise in the period. So how would we use a bandolier? The musketeer would prime his musket first with fine priming powder. He would then take a bottle, take the top off and pour the charge down the barrel. This is done right next to a lit match. Dangerous stuff. He would then put wadding down, take out his scouring stick and ram it all home. A musket ball would then go down. After the musketeer sits his match in the serpent of his musket, he was ready to fire. So what would happen when the musketeer had run out of powder in his bandolier? If he was in a battle in a dense block of men, he could take his bandolier off, hold it above his head. He would then hopefully get it replaced by a full bandolier, possibly by children running onto the battlefield. Or if defending in a siege, a musketeer could replenish his bandolier himself, but not without risk. Before the days of health and safety, soldiers would often scoop up gunpowder from a barrel and pour it into their bandolier. During a skirmish siege at Leith, gunpowder was brought up to resupply the musketeers. A poorly trained musketeer was still holding his lit match when he reached down into the barrel to scoop up his powder. The explosion killed and injured more men than the fighting itself. Now the fact remains, until evidence surfaces to suggest that the term was used in the 1640s or 1650s, the term will remain incorrect. However, however, there is a mention of apostles just after the English Civil War and well before the Victorian period. It is written in the diaries of Henry Tongue, who lived between 1621 and 1690. Tongue was a cleric and chaplain for the Royal Navy. It was on his voyages on the King's ships where he wrote his diaries. Amongst other things, he wrote of the Mediterranean Corsairs and the daily routine of the 17th century Navy. He wrote, When entering Tangier at 10 o'clock, we salute the town with nine guns. They give us 11, which makes us wonder. We give fire, they give as many, and we give five more. He appears to have been well versed in the naval affairs about him. For when he returned home after his first trip, in the assistance he wrote, Friday the 17th of November, we are paid off at Deptford, where we leave the rottenest frigate that ever came to England. On returning to England after his second voyage in the disease-ridden Royal Oak, he noted that out of a complement of 390 men, 60 had perished by the time they had returned home. And to make matters worse, when they anchored at Dover, he wrote, We sent to shore 32 sick men, pitiful creatures. But back to his mention of the Apostles. He recorded that they had stopped a French vessel and forced the master to come on board the English ship. After making a report on local Moorish activities, the French master was in for a surprise. Tongue takes up his story in his diary of 1678. The best passage was that we had a friar with us, who having been drinking wine, was gone a little valiant, and had got a musket in his hand and a collar of bandoliers about him. And to see him stand in his white coat, bald pate, 
his musket in his hand and the twelve apostles rattling about him was a sight which caused much laughter. Now it is only one mention, but the fact that the twelve apostles are mentioned to be rattling and there was a musket in hand can only mean he was referring to the bandolier that was across the friar's chest. So what can we draw from this? There is still no evidence that a bandolier was called the Twelve Apostles during the English Civil War, but one man coined the phrase on a ship in the Mediterranean when faced with a friar who was a little bit tipsy. We hope you've enjoyed this video on the bandolier and the Twelve Apostles. Very soon our brand new English Civil War series will be coming out, which will take in all aspects of the Civil Wars. The causes, the characters, the battles, will even be firing Old Faithful herself. If you'd like to see a video on how King Charles I raised his standard to begin the English Civil Wars, check this video up right here. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and if you have liked this video, drop us a like and hit that subscribe button. We really, really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching.